Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 6, 2020. This is my first episode about C++ GUI programming using Qt. In this episode, we will demystify Qt creators generated files. More specifically, we will learn how to use UIC or user interface compiler. To follow my current session, I assume you have watched my previous videos. If you haven't watched my previous videos from episode 00 up to episode 03, you probably have difficulties understanding my current session. Mr. Powan Adhikari suggested to choose Qt Creator, but I still do not understand the code generated by Qt Creator. Once I understand the code generated by Qt Creator, then of course I will use Qt Creator. I start Qt Creator, go to File, New, Select Application, Qt Widget Application, Choose, I will select default folder, Qt, hello, click next. I will accept QMake, next. So I will accept default, click next, click next, click next, click next. So Qt creator created stop code qt hello pro this is project file go to build build all it is building this is still building now i will click run so this is our first qt generated window So, it created one header file, two CPP file, and one main window UI file. This is in design mode, edit mode. This is XML file. Because I don't understand the relation between UI and this file and this file I still cannot use this Qt creator but I figured out what this main window.ui means in this episode we will learn the code generated by Qt creator we will use Qt creator in future episode but for the time being we will use Visual Studio Code. Now start Visual Studio Code. Open your working folder. We created this working folder in our previous episode. Please double click it. Click this button 04 Qt Creator. Hit Enter. Click this button once again. The Mr. Phi UIC hit enter. Click Qt create folder. Click this button Qt UIC files hit enter. Select the Mr. Phi UIC. Select this folder, click this button, main.cpp, hit enter, click this button, main underscore window dot h, hit enter, click this button, main window dot cpp hit enter click this button ui main 
window.h hit enter we created four files now control v i will close welcome window and i will arrange ui main window on the right side on the left hand side main window dot h click this button to open explorer copy three files copy paste it here now control b sorry it is confusing right click close all double click to open files so i open the four files control b on the right hand side ui main window on the left hand side main window dot h include q main window of course we need if not the ef ui main window underscore h define copy and paste and if and over file class ui main window public void set ui q main window p main window do some initialization i say set up ui now I create another function for it retranslate UI Q main window P main window P main window set window title Q string the Mr. Pi QT creator generated files semicolon here I will make it bigger here we translate UI P main window so we are calling this function through setup ui here we create namespace ui class main window public ui main window so in namespace UI, we inherit from UI main window. Don't forget semicolon here. Now, in main window dot h, if not def main window underscore h define paste it here and if end of file namespace ui we declare this class okay this is a forward declaration class 
main window public q main window so we need to include q main window q main window here q object whenever we inherit from q object base class directly or indirectly we need q object macro in the private section private we declare an instance ui main window this is pointer pui public we declare constructor q widget p parent default value is null ptr this is declaration main window we declare the destructor we need a destructor i will drag and drop here include this header file main window h we have to implement this constructor and destructor remove this default value please note that this main window inherits from q main we have to initialize base class by passing p parent also it has a member pui we have to initialize member pui this is pointer so new we dynamically allocate sorry we have to include this header file too here include ui main window because this class is defined in this file here right here now pui this main class ui main defined here inherited from ui main ui main window ui main window has a member called the setup ui so we call set up ui we pass this because our main window inherited from qi main window so we confess this this class we are implementing this constructor now this structure Please note that in this class we have a pointer member PUI. This is dynamically allocated, so we have to delete in the destructor PUI. Please understand the relationship between UI main window and a member in the namespace ui main window class don't get confused 
this main window is in UI namespace and also this is also main window it has a member this PUI is an instance of this class now in the main dot cpp include main window include ui main window include we need q application now int main int argc character pointer argb this is array q application app argc argb return app exec here we create an instance of this class like this main wind main wind show sure. don't forget this now everything is ready open command prompt dir cd 04 qt creator cd demystify uic q make project hit enter open the explorer open demispy uic pro here qt core gui widget this is plural now in the command prompt again dir Q make the mystify UIC pro we generate make file dir make file is created make wow it built without bug so the mystify UIC exe is created the Mr. Phi UIC EXE hit enter. Okay, this is our program. I will close it and Control D. Try to understand the relationship between UI main window and main window in UI namespace and this main window inherited from Q main window how UI main window is implemented set up UI and retranslate UI also main window.cpp this is constructor of this class from this class we call setup ui because this is an instance of ui main i understand it might look a little bit complex but solid understanding of this concept is important. Take 10 minutes break, then we will learn something amazing. I hope you had a 10 minutes break. Now close all files, right click, close all. Close this file, close all file. Click this button, collapse the missed file UIC. In Qt UIC files, 
I will remove these files. Select Dell. Click this folder once again. Click New Files. Main. Window. XML. Hit Enter. Now we created an XML file. Here, the file encoding should be UTF-8. Okay, if it is not UTF-8, then go to File, Preference, Settings. Select Text Editor, Files, scroll down, encoding should be UTF-8. Okay, encoding should be UTF-8. Now close it. If this is not UTF-8, click Save with Encoding, select UTF-8. XML, we are creating an XML file. Version 1.0, encoding, UTF-8. It can be lowercase letter 2. UTF-8 is no problem. UI. UI. Here, version 4.0. Class. Class. We will create main window class. Okay? It generates class named main window. Widget. Widget. Here, this is attribute class Q main window. It is used as a parameter. Name P main window. This is parameter name. This is parameter type. This is parameter name of the setup UI function. Now property property. I will indent a little bit for easier reading. Property name is window title. Window title has a string. In the string, we demystify Qt generated code in this episode. You should give likes to my video. Now open up the command prompt cd dir cd qt uic files. You should find main window.xml. UIC user interface compiler main window XML output UI main window dot H. This is output file name. Hit enter. Now open this file. This file is generated like this. If we compare this contents with this file, Control B, we put side by side 
This is our hand-coded file. This is generated file. So UI main window, UI main window. This main window is specified here. I will show three files simultaneously. Control minus. This class main window generates this name. Okay, this is generated file. This is our hand coded file. This Q main window, this parameter is used for setup UI and retranslate UI. This is our hand coded functions. This P main window is used as parameter name. Here, window title is used to define set window title. In my case, I simplified this part. I simplified this argument. Here, UI class, it defines a UI class in the namespace. This is generated class. So, this windows.xml is used to generate this file. Now close it. Close it. Open it. From Qt Creator, control click this file. Also, this file and main. Select three files. Right click, copy, and paste it here. Okay. Now close all. We have one file. No, we don't need this file. One, two, three, four. I will delete this file. Delete. One, two, three, four. Now in the command prompt again, dir q make project hit enter. Then open this file, project file. Here Qt core GUI widget. This is plural. Now here forms. We provide this XML file. Main window XML. Now in the command prompt, here, Q make Qt UIC files pro. This file name, hit enter. So we created the make file. Now make hit enter dir. So our application qt uic files.exe is created. Also note that ui main.window.h is created. Here this file is created, generated. In the command prompt, 
dir dot exe qt uic files hit enter so we demystify qt generated code in this episode you should give likes to my videos at the start of our episode we created a project this project contains main window.ui in this file this main window.ui is xml file describing the class i simplified this part now if we compare our xml file this main window is this main window q main window main window main window i changed it to easy understanding and i simplified this part now i hope you understand how we use uic compiler user interface compiler how these files relate to each other so this main uic is used to create main window class if you open up this uic is generated like this please watch this video very carefully and have solid understanding how the classes are related to each other please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching